The video I did yesterday was the video I recorded first. This video is the video I did to replace that video because I thought I lost it. Tell me which one you like better. Welcome plungers. Thanks for pulling up and tapping in. Well, as promised in the last thumbnail, I got some Griffin work done and this guy right here is a product of some of it. And I got some spiders, which were surprisingly easy to get, like incredibly easy to get. Now these things are very cool because they can do a couple of things. First of all, that's the pheromone release that I didn't know how to do before, but apparently it happens when you uh, upgrade. What the? Right to the wall. Right to the wall. Yeah, that's very cool. That's very cool. I don't know what that little turn was about. And then you can do little jumps. And then you can do big, huge, giant leaps to the wall. Oh, and to the ceiling. Yeah, that's very cool. <laughs> that's very cool. And then just drop down. No fall damage. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, I got a few of those. Uh, I got this guy here ready to mate. And he's been mating with... Let's see what they came up with. He's been mating with Jill. Oh, they've, they've already produced three eggs. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, this, this one just hiding right here. That's the high-level one. Just hiding in plain sight. And for some reason, the level 80 has higher stats than the level now 150, which is weird. But, yeah. And that one's blue, so that's likely the one we're going to be. Oh. I think that's it. I think I got the color scheme I was going for. The three of them? Two of them. Let's see, two heads. There's two of them. I know there aren't any mutations, but you know, two girls. I also got this new spyglass thing. So it doesn't obscure your vision in any way, which is a bonus. I love that part. And uh, when you don't have another item out, you put that away and then it gives you the full zoom of a spyglass and it gives you all the information, all of it. So, yeah, I like that, especially the color regions and stuff. So at a glance, you could really just you know back and forth, just tell, all right, blue, blue is region six on this one. It's only got three color regions, boom. This one's only got three color regions, boom. Boom, boom, this one has one extra color region, so boom, see what I'm saying? So it's currently mating. And I'm going to let them do their thing a little while and see what other colors I can come up with. So let's see what we got here. Maybe we can get that uh, yellow wings with the rest of the body. And it's, it's growing nighttime now, so. Yeah, this one is cool too. We're just going to, we're just going to imprint and keep all of them. Throw all of them in the, in the thing over here. 
for now, I'm going to jump on this guy. Actually, I'm wild. I'm taking him because he's a nice color, but I would be definitely better served to jump on Jill. He felt a little bit faster, if I'm not mistaken. He definitely felt a little bit faster than Jill. But I know his stamina does not compare So again, it's that lightest tree on the highest rock outcropping. I don't know why I put it up there, because from the shore, it's harder to get to. And I'll probably have to find a way to fix that. Maybe another elevator, Ugh, another elevator. And I, and I react like that because the elevator in this one is, it's ridiculous. And it's the only way up and down currently like to the top of the platform I should put some taps in the bottom which would be smarter but I have the sap taps on the top on the, the platform where you can place the platform the highest on that platform and then I didn't put the platform on the lower one I just built on the ground but it's pretty much just elevator <laughs> and platform. But I did have the foresight to build four platforms on these trees. Wait a minute, hold on a minute. Okay, that's better. So I did have the foresight to build on those platforms. So I'm gonna have something lower to the ground maybe incorporate a third tree and make it kind of a village type of thing i don't know i don't know i don't know but this is this is the sap farm i guess yeah why tempt fate just park her up inside she can fit barely close that up oh yeah I got the spiders out here they were just casually walking around you just grab a shield well I had you had to kill some first unfortunately so you just grab a shield and walk up to the females and feed them the mashed insects simple the males however are a little bit harder and I, and I had a difficult time trying to figure out on the console controller how to release the pheromones but I figured it out and I'm gonna go back and get some males and start some breeding because I got some really really great colors and from my experience more males than females have the, the good colors so I saw a red one that was not too far from here so I'm gonna go try to find that guy He's at level 96, and the way my game is set up, I don't have it on, like, the hardest difficulty, so I don't know how my dinos are leveled. Sometimes I see level 140s, 130s, 120s, sometimes I see 86s, sometimes I see 96s, 92s, so yeah. And I love the way these ceilings come together. It's gorgeous. And, and you can just imagine just being here. This is huge. A sap tap? This is huge. What the heck are you putting under here? A bathtub? This is... What, this is huge. And as you can see, I got some sap because I tried to record the video earlier and it did not save properly for some reason. I don't know. But that's neither here nor there because I'm here making the video. This is probably explaining my tardiness because I tried to get it up a little bit earlier, but it is what it is. We're here now and we have all the sap. And I'm not going to put you through this elevator ride again, the longest elevator. We're just going to 
have a time lapse or flash to the bottom. You'll know as soon as I do. Okay, so this is your opportunity to time travel. This is me speaking to you from the past and you know what process I use to make this elevator ride go faster. Did I time lapse it or did I just cut to the bottom with a transition? You're in the future right now. That's crazy, right? You're in the future right now watching this video. I'm in the past. I have no idea what I'm going to do in the edit. I have no idea. But you already know. That's so crazy. Did I get her stuck? Got her a little bit, a little bit stuck. She got a little bit stuck. We got to make sure we close our doors. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with these four platforms, build something on here and around here. And uh, in the next episode, we're definitely gonna have some gameplay. We're gonna just go out and explore this beautiful, beautiful world that we're blessed fortunate however you want to look at it but this is a great opportunity for us to be able to see this and experience this because i come from a time where video games were lighted squares on a screen literally you know i'm 56 years old damn So to go from there to here, it's humbling and I love it. I truly, truly love it. Well, I guess that's all I really got for you guys. Uh, let's see. Is it all I got? Let's see. Oh, I do have, I do have a couple of other teams. Maybe I should just throw out all the the griffins that I have because um, full disclosure full disclosure I don't know why she's not going down now oh I know why ah, still in orbital camera mode but full disclosure I lost everything now I have a new process to save because before I was just exiting to the main menu and relying on the auto save feature. But now I just save it manually before I run out. You got to see that guy in action yesterday. He's, he's a beast. Still doesn't have a name, but you did get to see him in action. I, I assume as soon as I bring her back, they're going to start breeding again. Yep. So there they go. This spider is a higher level, but it isn't as strong. So what I'm going to do is probably try to put those breeds together. I don't know. I don't know. But I really like the fact that this one is a high level. So I want to get a high level one with good stats. At the end of the day, that's the goal. But... It is what it is. So, yeah, let's see how far I could launch from here. Let's see if I, let's see if I end up in the water. <laughs> I did before. Wow, I think just bounced. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see back from here. Good thing there is no fall damage because the bounce was crazy. I could imagine it would be like falling horizontally. <laughs> the launch that we just given. I wish it was something that could just pivot though, like the others. Okay, there we go. 
let's see if we make it all the way to the back. Okay. All right. It's not. It's not as OP as I thought it was, but it's still very impressive. Let's see if we can get out without the mounts this time. Yep. It actually feels like a slingshot. It's like a slingshot. You just line it up properly and let it go. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I got. Thanks for tapping in, guys. Peace.